Our next plant is one of my favorites. It's called Jack in the Pulpit Aracema triphylum. And we have two of them right here. Here we have a male flower with one three-parted leaf. The flower itself is composed of the jack, which is also called the spadix. The flower parts are actually going to be lower down uh, on this spike. And then the, the jack is covered by a, a hood, the, the, the pulpit. Uh, and the technical name for the pulpit is the spathe. And the spathe typically is green and purple with these, with these nice stripes on it. Very attractive. The female, on the other hand, has much more leaf area. It has two three-parted leaves here. The flower looks very similar to a casual glance. Again, we've got, a, we've got a, a narrow spike, and the flower parts basically are on the lower part of that spike. If I were to open this up, we could see a little difference in the flower parts. The female parts are a little bigger, a little rounder. The male parts, flower parts, are more thread-like. But uh, there's a chance we'd injure the flower to pull it apart, so I don't want to do that. But the, the spade, the hood, uh, the pulpit is very much the same in both. And what's neat is that the number of leaves is going to tell us about the sex of the plant. If you see a jack-in-the-pulpit flower that has two three-parted leaves, that's a female flower. If you see a jack-in-the-pulpit with only one three-parted leaf, that is a male jack-in-the-pulpit flower. So I guess really we should call the male Jack, that's fine, but the, male, uh, the female we shouldn't call Jack, we should call her Jill in the pulpit. What's particularly interesting to me is that these plants are perennials, they live from year to year, uh, and, uh, and unlike us humans, these plants can change their sex from one year to another. Typically what happens early in the history of the plant, it's male because it takes a lot less energy to produce a male flower than it does a female flower and the resulting fruit. After a few years, once the uh, flower, the roots, have uh, gathered enough energy, the flower can then become female, or the, the plant, I should say, can produce a female flower. Uh, if for any reason it goes through a dry spell, uh, for whatever reason its energy reserves become depleted, just goes back to being a male, which doesn't require as much energy. We now have a poem about Jack in the Pulpit, which I'd like to read to you. Uh, this is called Jack in the Pulpit by Clara Smith, and I'm going to read the first stanza and the ending. Jack in the Pulpit preaches today under the green trees just over the way. Squirrel and song sparrow high on their perch hear the sweet lily bells ringing to church. Come hear what his reverence rises to say in his low-painted pulpit this calm Sabbath day. Fair is the canopy over him seen, penciled by nature's hand, black, brown, and green. Green is his surplice, green are his bands. In his queer little pulpit, the little priest stands. So much for the preacher. The sermon comes next. Shall we tell how he preached it and where was his text? Alas, like too many grown-up folks who play at worship in churches man builded today, we heard not the preacher expound or discuss, but we looked at the people and they looked at us. We saw all their dresses, their colors and shapes, the trim of their bonnets, the cut of their capes. We heard the wind organ, the bee and the bird, but of Jack in the pulpit, we heard not a word.